Hi, today I'm bringing you another guide for a C++20 feature, Concepts. One of the most common and deserved complaints about C++ is the quality of compiler errors. Although compilers have improved drastically over the years, templated code is one area where they can't really help. To demonstrate this issue, let's have a look at this example. This function has an implicit requirement. The type we pass in must be convertible to a standard string. If we try to pass in a type that doesn't fulfill this requirement, we will receive a complicated error from the function implementation. This is unavoidable because the only problem here is the actual assignment from into string. In this case, the error is still relatively shallow and it wouldn't take a long time to deduce the problem. However, it is not unusual to receive multiple pages of template errors that force you to read the library implementation code. Concepts allow us to specify constraints on our template code so that only types fulfilling these constraints can use the template specialization. This version of our example function will only allow types that fulfill the convertible to concept. Thus, when we try to compile this code, we will receive a much more meaningful error and a list of constraints that are violated. The convertible to is one of the concepts introduced by the C++ standard library. If you want a complete list, have a look at the concepts, iterators and ranges headers. Now, if you were really paying attention, you might have noticed that the convertible to concept takes two parameters, but we only pass in one. This approach works because we use this concept inline, in which case the first parameter is deduced from the context. In our case, the type of the parameter x. This direction also works when using a template instead of auto. However, when we use a requires block instead of specifying the concept inline, we must explicitly specify the first parameter. When using auto, we will need to rely on deco type. When using a template, we can simply supply the template parameter. If desired, we can combine multiple concepts using logical operators. For example, we could write the following convoluted function that either accepts an integral or an invocable that returns an integral. Similarly, we can refer to concepts in context per context. If we will call this function with a double parameter, we will receive a detailed explanation of why double doesn't satisfy this combination of concepts. With more complex formulas, like this one, we are pushing the readability of our code. So let's have a look at how we can write new concepts. New concepts are defined using the keyword concept. The definition is then a conjunction-disjunction formula made from context per Boolean expressions, existing concepts and requires blocks. Here we have two versions of the previous example rewritten into a concept. The first version is a combination of C++11 type traits. The second version uses standard C++20 concepts. When combining existing concepts is insufficient, we need to write novel concepts using the requires block. The most straightforward check we can use inside of the requires block is whether an expression is valid. In this example, we check whether the type supports binary plus. We also use the optional arguments block, which generates arguments that are then available to form expressions. As expected, we get an error when using the constraint function with a type that doesn't overload the plus operator. Similarly to checking the validity of expressions, we can also test the validity of types. In this example, we can't use the function unless the type has a member type named element type. We can also use this functionality to test whether a template substitution would succeed. In this example, we call the function with struct x. The template substitution will fail, since the only specialization available requires an integral. Compound expression allow constraining the return type of an expression. In this example, the expression needs to be valid and also return an integral. Thus calling it with a lambda that returns double fails due to the latter and calling it with an integer fails due to the former. We can also constrain compound expressions only to accept non-throwing implementations. Here we can call the function with struct x but not with struct y since its assignment operator is not marked with no accept. Lastly, requires blocks can be nested. This is important when evaluating a Boolean expression or a concept inside of an existing requires block. 
If we didn't specify the requires prefix here, we would simply be testing the validity of the expression, not whether it evaluates to true. With this, you should have enough information to write any concepts you might need. But there is still one feature of concepts to consider. So far, in all the examples presented, we only had a single template specialization that either matched or didn't. However, we can also use concepts to pick the best template specialization when multiple options are available. The compiler will first determine the set of viable options and then select the option with the most specific concept. Each concept is expanded into a basic form that only contains conjunctions and disjunctions and atoms. Here an atom is either a boolean expression, a concept or a requires block. It is important to note that the compiler will not expand the contents of requires block further. So for example here you might consider a concept core to be more specific than the concept has x. However, they both contain a single atom, the requires block. And since these atoms are not comparable, trying to call this function with struct y will fail because it is ambiguous. However, we can rewrite the example slightly to make the concepts ordered. In this case, since the hasx concept is subsumed by the chord concept, the chord concept is considered to be more specific. A good rule of thumb is the following. Given two concepts a and b, if we can write the concept b in the following form, b is considered more specific than a. Conversely, if we can write b in the following form, a will be considered more specific. And with that, we are done with C++ concepts. I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.